This video deals with sunroofs made up until 1986. The normal operation of the sunroof is run by a single sunroof switch on the center console red arrow. What operations the switch performs is dependent on the position of the ignition switch. To open the sunroof, turn the ignition switch to the on position and press the switch down towards the rear of the vehicle, yellow arrow. To close the sunroof, press the switch down towards the front of the vehicle, red arrow. To remove the sunroof, turn the ignition switch to the off position and press down the switch towards the rear of the car, red arrow, to retract the lifting arms. Release the two clamps on the inside front of the sunroof by folding them forward, red arrow, with your hand. You can now push the sunroof up and back towards the rear of the car and remove it from the vehicle. This photo illustrates how the lifting arms, red arrows, sit in the sunroof panel yellow arrows. This image illustrates the end of the lifting arm, red arrow that engages the rear of the sunroof panel. When reinstalling the sunroof, insert it into the front of the roof opening, making sure it is sitting in the appropriate guides on each side, red arrow, and fit the rear portion into the channels for the lifting arms. The seals on the sunroof are not designed to be waterproof and water is expected to get past them and into the roof area. If your sunroof is leaking when it is raining, it is because your drain tubes are clogged. There is a drain opening on each corner, red arrow. It's a good idea to run a piece of weed whacker line down each drain channel at least once a year to prevent them from clogging up. The drain line that runs down the C-pillar and out through the bottom of the car by the spare tire is long. Make sure you have a long enough piece of line. Do not force it or you run the risk of damaging the older brittle lines inside. Red Arrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.